Hi to all of my sophisticated ladies. It's Penny, the owner of the Sophisticated Lifestyle Boutique. Right now, I am inside my boutique space. Bam. This is my front counter. This right here is gonna have my last minute save a sale. Those are, you know, I'm gonna put like jewelry there. Uh, I'm also gonna have possibly jewelry here on the table and a mirror for them to be able to see themselves. All of this is gonna have clothing racks, shelves of the mannequin is gonna show them the styles. My front window is gonna have two mannequins there showing, you know, attention grabbing outfits. Let's walk to the back of the store. Here is my dressing room. This is what it looks like. Hi, Penny. All of my racks, my tables, my shelves in the back, my restroom, and my back, my back room. I'm gonna show you my back room. Mirror. Boutique can't have too many mirrors. Um. So right now I'm just waiting in my store for the HVAC inspector to come back down off of the roof from inspecting the heating and cooling system. So ladies, when it comes to basically opening up a boutique, you or like a physical commercial space, it, it doesn't even have to be a boutique, it has to be any type of business that requires a physical location. Um, you're gonna have to have a inspector come in to check out the heating and cooling. Cause you know, you don't wanna jump into a building where the AC works, but the heat doesn't, or the heat works, but the AC doesn't. <sighs> he was a hundred dollars for me, but it may be different in your area. I also have to have the city of Ann Arbor to come in and inspect, and that's $190. So for the city of Ann Arbor, when, or, whatever city you're in, for the city to come in and inspect, they're looking to make sure fire alarms work, your exit signs work, and they want to make sure your emergency lights work, which are these little things here, you know, just in case the power goes out, those lights will still come on. I think floodlights as well, but we don't have that problem here. Um. You guys, I am literally ready for the first. I have been wanting this for my whole life. Even when I was a child, I used to play this game called um, Retail Therapy. <laughs> and I wanna say that was on Facebook or maybe even MySpace, but um, it used to be like you had a boutique store, you would have to go over here and load up some shoes you'll go over here and load up some clothes the customers come in and buy like i don't know if you don't if you never played it you won't know but i'm just ready for the first you guys like i i'm just ready you don't i don't want to get emotional at all but you know i can and you know i will hmm. um, just thought that i could show you guys you know around a little bit bring you up the speed i still need to get my painter he is coming in on the first and this is going to be pink my signature color i don't know if you can see it but these little frames inside that purple is going to be pink as well and i still need to get my sign that goes outside my building kind of like there's my 3d sign honey when i mean signage you're looking at some thousands right there. Like I found one guy that kind of bootleg it and that's not sophisticated. So I think I might have to go ahead and pay whatever it's gonna be, but they don't want no, just anything up there. You can't just write on a piece of paper with a Sharpie or write on some wood with a Sharpie and throw it up front. You know, they want like a nice classy uniform look. That's understood. All right, my sophisticated ladies, I'll be giving you guys updates as the process goes. Um, once again, if you need 
any help, I can, I'm here for you. Cause you know, like, why not help each other? We're boutique sisters. Um, have any questions, comments, concerns? I'm here.